So guys, let me show you a really simple bread recipe. This is a really trusted way to do it. It's super simple and you can do it easily at home yourself. It's really good fun. And I'm gonna be bigging up my beautiful bakeware range. This is gonna make two nice big tins. First up, we've got one kilo of strong bread flour. Use your hand to make a well. And then what we're gonna do is add yeast to some tepid water. All sachets are seven grams. So we're gonna add one sachet to 620 milliliters of tepid water. So if you leave that for about five minutes, what you're gonna do is activate this dormant dried yeast and it will start to bubble, absolutely start to bubble. So mix it up. What you can do is add just a little pinch of sugar to the tepid water. Now what this does is feed the yeast, gets it going, wakes it up. It also gives you a beautiful kind of slightly darker crust. Let it just begin to froth up and then we'll make the bread. Add a nice generous couple of pinches of salt to the flour well. We're gonna wait for that yeast to activate and start kind of bubbling. At that point, we're gonna add the water to the well. Now you can see I'm using my fork here and I'm just bringing the fork in from the outside to the inside. It makes like a kind of porridge first. What we wanna make is a beautiful, smooth, elastic dough. This recipe is normally bang on, but sometimes, depending on the weather, you know the flour can react slightly differently, so be prepared to add a little bit more water or flour, depending on how it looks. Literally use the fork until the last moment when you can't use it anymore. And then we're gonna go through a process of kneading. Now, I can kind of tell you there's a specific technique, but really just move it, stretch it, rip it, really rub it and rub it onto the marble. It will become less sticky. Of course, if you've got little stuck bits of dough, you can use a pallet knife just to scrape the dough off of it. Every time you knead it, you're kind of making the gluten stronger and stronger, and therefore it's going to trap and stretch and hold in those gases that the yeast kind of create. Okay, guys, so look, that's had about 10 minutes kneading now. Um, this is going to have two proofs. The first proof will be um, to develop flavour. Okay, so I'm just going to put it in a bowl, rub with a little bit of oil, and you can do this over about two hours until it's doubled in size or you can even do it in the fridge so it's colder and it'll prove slower, but what you'll get is even more flavour, it'll develop more flavour. So you choose which way you want to do it. I'm going to cover this with some cling film so it's kept nice and humid. And if you look over here, here's a dough that's had two hours proving. So let's have a little look. I'm going to add a little bit of flour to a surface here and pull out this dough. I'll split this dough in half here, smash the air out of it, and then what we're gonna do is just fill these two molds here. Knead it out into a ball, just put it straight in. Next thing I do is get myself a tea towel, and I just put it under a warm tap, and I wanna wring it out so it's a nice, humid environment, and then I'll simply pop this over the top and let it prove for about an hour, hour and a half, until it's doubled in size, and then we'll bake it. So guys, after an hour, you can see it's doubled in size. I'm gonna put it in the middle of the oven. The oven's preheated to 200 degrees Celsius, which is 400 Fahrenheit. 30 minutes in there, 35 minutes until it sort of sounds hollow when you tap it, and we'll be good to go. Okay guys, so after 35 minutes, uh, I took the bread out of the tin, and I wanted to hear that hollow sound. And then you know it's fluffy and cooked on the inside. Of course, the top is really nice and crisp. Let's have a little look inside. Beautiful, look at that. A nice, simple sandwich or toast made with homemade bread turns the everyday and the boring into something sublime and gorgeous. If you wanna see more of my gorgeous bakeware range, hit the eye up there and check it out, it's beautiful. And if you wanna see a lovely recipe for Irish soda bread made with Gennaro Contaldo, yeah, he's Italian, and Donald Skeen, he's definitely Irish, then the details are in the information box below. You're gonna have a lovely time cooking that, it's a great recipe. So, until next time guys, Bye.